Visual Studio Code is a great IDE for building Angular applications. And by adding a few extensions, it can get even better. I've made a brand new workspace using the Angular CLI, and I'm gonna show you a few extensions that I always add to my workspace. The first extension is the Angular Language Service. And with this installed, you get type checking in your HTML template files. So if I type in some property that doesn't exist on my component, it tells me that it doesn't exist. And if I type a property that does exist on the component, it auto-completes for me, and it knows that it's a string and has all the string types. Next up, the Angular Snippets plugin. This has lots of useful snippets, but one that I use fairly frequently is to generate a new component. I just start typing a dash and all the snippets are loaded. A dash component gives me this template and I can type in a selector, a template URL, and I'm just tabbing through this snippet, filling it in as I go. And now I can fill out the rest of my component code here. Uh, the next extension is TSLint. This enables us to have some inline linting errors in our code. Here, if we look at this squiggle here, you can see that it's failing a lint rule. One thing to notice is that the TSLint extension is deprecated. So if you want to use ESLint instead, you can use the Angular ESLint package to install ESLint in your repo. And there are some quick start instructions here. Once you follow these instructions, you can come back and install the ESLint extension, which does the same lint checking inside of your code, but for ESLint instead of TSLint. The last extension I wanna show is NX Console. Once NX Console is installed, you get this NX Console sidebar that tells you information about your workspace. At the bottom here, the projects lists out the commands that can be run for your project, for instance, build, serve, test, and lint, and any configurations that you have set up. If you click on the play button here under build, that will run the build command on your application. Also, if you click this edit workspace definition button, it will take you to the exact spot in your angular.json file that configures this build command. Up here under generate and run target, you can build, serve, test, and lint, running any of the commands that you have registered. If you click on the build command up in the top, instead of immediately launching the build, it will show you a form where you can modify any of the options that you want and then click the run button and actually run the build. NX console doesn't only run builders though, it can also run your schematics. If you click on generate, it lists out all the schematics that are available to you in this repo, including third-party installed ones. And you can choose one. Let's say uh, we want to make a component here. And it gives you this form that you can fill out so you don't have to remember what all the properties are of this particular schematic. So I'm going to make a test component and give it the project of my angle application. And we'll let it find the module itself. As you fill it out, it does a dry run in the terminal down here. So you can check to make sure that this is, these are the files that you want to actually be modified. And then when you're happy, you click the run button and it will actually run your schematic. If you look over here, we've got our test component created. The other nice thing about NX console is say you have a folder structure here where you want to make a component inside of this folder. If you right click on the folder and choose NX generate and component again, it has pre-filled out the path option inside of this form with the folder that I right clicked on. So now if I make another component in here, it runs it and builds the component inside of some folder. So I'm gonna run it and here's my other component. This is particularly useful for scaffolding out a whole section of my application. With these extensions enabled, you can really optimize your workflow and get the most out of VS Code when working in an Angular application.